Thanks for joining me. Um, today we are making a forge. Um, yes, this is going to be a very primitive style of forge. I'm going to um, cut into the dirt, and basically we're going to make uh, one mound here, and then another mound kind of counter like that is an African style forge. So, first thing to do is to lay it out, and this will be a charcoal forge. So. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this mound here, something like this. The blowpipe will go through there, and then another kind of counter mound here to keep the forge all um, all good to go or all um, contained. And then I'm going to dig a small pit along there. That way, the forge can really. Be contained. So uh, I've dug out a pit and I put the wall, uh, the dirt from the pit onto the walls of the pit. Uh, and this is basically um, kind of just slopes into a bowl. Uh, I'm going to finish the wall up there. I also dug a hole for the um, uh, pipe. I'm going to grab the pipe and um, yeah, let's let's. Install the pipe, and then, uh, yeah, that, that's the plan. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this this is the this is the design I was talking about. Uh, basically, you got one mound here, an uh, uh, air system so that air goes through it. Another mound here, and this kind of keeps the coals in. I've also dug a pit here, um, in the middle. So, uh. From ground, ground level, which is this, down to the bottom of the pit is about four inches, and from the from the ground level to the top of the wall at its highest point, which is about here, is about four inches. Uh, it's not exact, um, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, I've also installed an air pipe here. This is just black iron. Uh, do not use galvanized steel. No one can stress this enough in blacksmithing. Never use zinc. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing fired up light a small fire in it and uh, see what we can do. So, uh, I've, I light it, I, uh... Hazel! Hazel! Hazel, talk. She'll figure it out. Um... So, I, uh, lit the forge with this propane torch and I had this old blower kicking around. Uh, it's a very small blower, you could probably use a hair dryer. Um, and just duct tape it on. But, uh, it seems to be working. Um... Yeah, you can see the uh, the very hot coals in the middle. Uh, this is the blower. It's got an on-off switch, so if I turn the switch off, it cools down the fire significantly. But um, just gonna let that run a little while and uh, get it up to heat, and then we'll uh, we'll throw some rebar in there and forge something. really isn't working that well. I thought the hammer would be better. Stupid. Maybe that's wrong. Yeah, okay. New anvil. This is a flint rock. I want to see how long this thing lasts. Not that long. Hmm. Well, at least I know now how to break flint. Got me here a plate. One of the plates I talked about in my impromptu anvils video. Let's see how well that works. Not great. For some reason, my charcoal isn't doing well. I think some charcoal blocked, um... Blocked the path to the blower. That's why it really wasn't working. Running a charcoal forge, I guess you gotta worry about, um... Ash. Didn't even think about that. Bigger the pipe, the bigger the charcoal. Because you don't want the charcoal to get... 
all ashed up in there in the blowing blowing tube. The plate that I'm using is a uh, half inch mild. So uh, the wood burns into charcoal, and the charcoal burns in uh, burns away. Charcoal is your smithing fuel. So I'm gonna see if I can. And these are just old, like this is cut off from resawing and see if that'll work. See if you can run this thing with wood. It would be cool if you could. There's I guess it's an art to run a uh, charcoal forge. So I'm bringing out an anvil. Actual anvil. Well, not really. This is that crappy Harbor Freight cast iron anvil. Make a poker for the forge. And there's a poker. Uh, I've decided to test if I can burn a piece of the rebar. This is, I think, half inch rebar. And if I can burn it, it's up to a welding heat. I got a piece of, I'm gonna say 3 8 I don't know the measurement off the top of my head. This will heat up a lot faster. Uh, so that's just going to go in there. And that'll be my forging stock. And with this one, we're going to make a hook. I'm going to draw this one out a little bit more. So I'm going to take more stock down, and then I... See how hot that one is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in between my legs. And then just... Options! I'm going to move this anvil out of the way. I'm gonna go grab a plate. You can call this one the punching plate. And then the, I don't know how to make hold down tools. Plus we can't make hold, or we haven't made a hold down tool yet. For this forge, put it here like that. Just hammer on top of it, that way it doesn't bounce around that much. And then I can really get some punching done. Punching failed, though I do have a, uh, I have a cool, um, little, uh, little end that hopefully won't burn. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna... We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna heat this up to a critical temperature. Curie point, or whatever it's called. And then I'm going to just basically uh, quench it and then break it quickly. And that is how I'm going to cut it. Instead of thinning it out to death and then just, no, I'm just going to, done. I'm going to quench it. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. That worked really well. That worked really well. All right. That is some real blacksmithing right there. And then I'm going to kneel it so it doesn't break on someone. All right. That was a pretty good day. Pretty good day for me. Okay. So this is the... Ooh, it's still toasty. Oh, what the heck? That is weird. Um, there's the hook. So, uh, unpacking the kiln. It's still kind of hot. Uh, we don't need any of that ash. There are two clinkers. One ember. It looks like a shard of ceramic. I don't know, a bunch of weird stuff. Like, this is a, there's a nail there, that makes sense. A uh, bunch of weird things. There's a clinker, a nail, there's the other half of the clinker there, which I don't think was actually of the fire. Uh, or it could be this pipe tr melting off a little bit. Fired clay coming out of the inside, looking like terracotta. Um. 
the walls of the forge, well, it's very ashy at the bottom, but the walls of the forge seem to be just very hardened dirt. Um, so, the regular dirt you can actually put your finger into, this stuff you can't at all. Yeah, very interesting. And I'm just... I guess I'll just, uh, tear it up. Um, let the rain swallow it back. I'll let the earth swallow it back. Very good experiment. Uh, yeah.